Welcome back to What's Matt Cooking with your host, Matt. Hey, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, please stop, Jim. You're too much. Hey guys, welcome back to What's Matt Cooking. I'm your host, Matt, and today we have a truly delicious meal. Butter chicken with basmati rice. You can see right there on the package, it says that it's authentic. This episode is brought to you by my friends at Squarespace, but we'll talk about them later. Step one, remove tray from the box. Next for step two, put the tray in the microwave. And finally, step three, remove from the microwave and eat. If you want to get more recipes, you can go to whatsmatcooking.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I hate my life. Okay, so maybe I'm not that good around the kitchen, but I do understand the value of cooking from home. And truth be told, I do have three solid meals under my belt, if you count pancakes as a meal. As many of us are adapting our diets to living and working from home, there's one thing that remains obvious. Either you plan out your meals for the week or you face the insatiable urge to rummage through your fridge or pantry snacking all day long. If you wanna save time, money, and eat healthier, you might wanna think about meal prep. And so with my lack of experience in the kitchen and to get the most out of meal prep, I knew I had to ask an expert for help. Kev. What up, man? Thanks so much for being here. This video was filmed over two months ago before lockdown in California, so please don't get upset and write in the comments. Order your governor that I'm violating state home orders. I've only left the house a handful of times for essentials, and yes, I do consider ice cream essential. Thank you for having me back, bro. That's my friend Kevin Curry, also known online as Fit Men Cook. Kevin Curry! Kevin Curry! Everyday home cook yes. now, but a million followers. <laughs> He's got a passion for creating healthy meals with a kick. His specialty? Meal prep. I invited Kev over to get his advice on how to better meal prep and to also challenge him to make me the simplest meal prep recipe he could think of. So the brief was to create a minimalist meal prep. Right. Uh, what meal did you choose for us today? So I thought about it and I think I'm gonna choose fried rice. It's one of the most minimal ones out there. It's just five ingredients and it's customizable, it's really affordable and takes just maybe about 15, 20 minutes to make. And that's important because when you select a meal prep recipe, have something that you can make really quickly, so that way midweek, if you wanna make it again and swap in something else, you can do that. And guess what? No food waste, and it's food that you actually want to eat. It's variety. So before Kevin came over, I went grocery shopping. I messed up the brief a little bit and got fresh veggies. Obviously totally fine to make this recipes with fresh veggies, but to keep things simple and to speed up the cooking time, Kev recommends using a bag of frozen carrots and peas. Kev also recommends eco-friendly meal prep containers that I picked up. There's a link in the description if you're interested in getting them. The recipe, as Kevin mentioned, includes just five ingredients. Eggs, scallions, day-old rice, because... Because it gets really nice and crispy. If you use fresh rice, it can get really soggy. A bag of <clears throat> frozen carrots and peas, and chicken. I think one of the, the interesting challenges here for you is gonna be cooking in a minimalist kitchen. <laughs> so like, I mean, I've, I'll tell you, I've got a pan, I've got a knife. Oh my God, you just have I'm, one thing of each thing? Yeah, pretty much. Got oh one, my God. Got one pot. <laughs> so uh, let's just see how we navigate through this. I'm gonna do what I do good, which is just stay behind a camera. Okay. I'll let you do what you do good. So Sweet. Let's get to it. All right, man. All right. So first up, we need to prepare all of our ingredients by cutting up our vegetables and our protein. This is so satisfying. <laughs> you know, when you're looking at the minimal recipes, I don't really count things that you're probably gonna have already inside of your pantry or your fridge. So garlic is one thing that you should definitely have. Mmm, look at that flavor. Mmm. Hey man, this is a really sharp knife, man. I actually sharpened it before you came. Oh, you did? All right. It's like, it's like, like butter. I'm not gonna get called out on having a dull knife. <laughs> not today. <laughs> So let's take off the top here. I like to just pull out this chicken breast. So what are some of the mistakes that people make when they are meal prepping? I think the biggest one and the most common one is that people do way too much and they see the Instagram photos of people and their entire counter is filled up with all these containers of food and being like, yeah, I'm prepped for the week. And they know darn well that by Friday or actually Thursday or Wednesday, they're throwing that food away because they're tired of it. So. So the number one thing is don't prep too much because that's gonna lead to food waste. We're gonna take off the skin too, just so we can save a little bit on the calories. Are you gonna uh, eat that? Did you, yeah. you eat cold chicken skin? Bro? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give you a fist bump. <laughs> After we're done prepping, we're ready to cook. 
I offered Kevin my microwave, but for some reason he declined. And we're gonna keep the heat just a little bit lower than usual. So I'm gonna spray in a little bit of coconut oil. You're free to use just regular oil. I'm gonna add in some garlic, and this is the part where you wanna add in some of the aromatics, so the green onion. There we go. As soon as you hear that sound, just start stirring. And this will look different if you actually pour in some oil rather than using the spray. Now when we cook with too much oil, we burn out all the nutrients in the food too, so that's what we also don't want. And then here, when you add the rice, you can boost it up just a little bit to medium, a little bit between medium and medium high. We wanna toast the rice and we get all that fragrance before from the garlic and the onions. We want this to just get infused inside of it. We don't have to cook this long too, for about two to three minutes. I mean, it's obviously a very short recipe, yeah. but while you're in it, it's just constant moving with the pan. Yeah, constant movement, especially with this type of skillet because it's stainless steel and we're not using a lot of oil, so it has a tendency to go ahead and stick. And that's why you want to really watch the heat of the skillet too. Next, we are going to add in our chicken. You don't have to wait for, you know, for the rotisserie to be cold either. You can actually buy it fresh when it's already hot and chop it up and put it in here. I'm gonna drop the heat just a little bit because we're gonna add in some eggs. Just make a hole right here in the skillet. If you need to, only if you need to, you can spray it just a little bit more. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack in some eggs too. Scramble this up right here in the middle of the skillet and then just go ahead and just move everything together. You can scrape the bottom of the skillet, get all that, because that is really good goodness too. We're gonna add in some frozen peas, and then our fresh carrots, and a little bit more of the green onion. And then as you're folding everything together, don't worry about the peas because they will thaw out under the heat of the rice. And as it's cooking, just add in some flavor. Get your soy sauce or your, your aminos. And what, this hasn't even been 15 minutes yet. That's why this is such an easy one to do midweek if you want something else or if you just want a fresh batch of it. I'm gonna take this off the heat. Ah, here's what I'm looking for, sesame oil. Ooh, this is a great add-on. This is gonna make everything just really like super sexy. <laughs> onion and then some toasted sesame now remember this stuff is not required so I know people are gonna you know like write me that's not five ingredients <laughs> that's not it we know and I know <laughs> so there you go boom simple recipe beautiful less than 20 minutes less than 15 technically I'm gonna go I'll let you go ahead and okay. go first you're gonna be the best actor in the world now. You're gonna be like, oh my god, this is the most oh, amazing thing ever. It's killer, unbelievable. <laughs> no, it's really, really good. I'm gonna eat this every day. Now, this tastes phenomenal, mm -hmm. but no matter how good something tastes, mm -hmm. like you said, if you do overdo it and you do it too much, yeah, um, you might not finish that seventh or eighth meal prep <laughs> that you made. Right. <laughs> so uh, I love that you can just add some variety. So just yeah. swap out the protein. You can swap out the carrots for some bell peppers. You can swap out the protein, get some shrimp, some tofu, if you got someone that's plant-based. Mm. And that right there is how to make a versatile, minimalist, affordable, quick, family-friendly, multi-purpose meal prep. If you wanna get the recipe and try it for yourself, I've left a link down in the description below. Dude, thank you so much for coming. This was a whole lot of fun. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot. I love just finding these simple ideas and recipes yeah. that can help us live a healthier life. So I appreciate right. it. I appreciate it for cool. having me. Thanks, thank man. you, bro. Hey friends, it's Matt from What's Matt Cooking. When we wanted to build a website for our brand, What's Matt Cooking, we knew exactly where to go. Squarespace. Create beautiful websites using their templates right out of the box. Use their blogging tools. Connect your social media accounts. And customize your message to fit your brand. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mattdiavella to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I so appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.